All right, I just got out of my deer stand. I've been getting in this one for the last two mornings and two evenings. Two of the guys have gotten a buck. I was up in this stand. It's five in the evening. It'll be getting dark in an hour. And I've got this Raven crossbow. I bought it about three years ago. And I said, I'm going to hunt with this thing this time. It's good out to 100 yards. And uh, buck stepped out at about 60 put it right on it. I think it went right through it. We're going to go take a look. Uh, I use those broad heads that open up, not the muzzies, the other one. Rage. I think they're Rage, two blades. And uh, But he was flopping around a little bit. He wasn't going anywhere. And I've got my uh, my X5 on me down here, if you can see it. Let me get it out. So I took my X5 and Put one mercy shot in him from 60 yards. Put that back in. So that's it. He came out right from over here, walked around and started to go that way, and I just bleated. And he stopped. So there's my crossbow. That's where I was. Let's go see what, she, what it looks like. This is a food plot. As you can see, it's got some good stuff. And this third doe, I mean, third buck in, in three days. And three different people have gotten it. There's the arrow. This is right where I shot him. You can see where he... Oh my goodness. There's Uh-oh, he's still moving a little bit. I may have to put another shot in him. But this is where the mess is. There's my arrow. Oh, it went all the way through. As you can see, it's got, see how the head opened up? I don't know if it's been destroyed or not, but it's got blood all the way up it. And there he is, and yes, he is still moving. He's got a nice rack, but I did not want to let him lay there and suffer. I got a big body. He's a big boy. I like him. Let me put one in him. Look how thick his neck is. He's a tough boy. Arrow all the way through him. He's got three rounds in him. Nice rack. His teeth are way down. So that boy's no kid. That's a good looking rack. Is he still breathing? He's taking his last couple of breaths. I'm glad I brought that sidearm because I sure don't want to leave him out here suffering for too long. That's where the arrow came through his neck, that hole that you see there. That's where I just shot him, that where that blood's starting to come out. Take a deep breath. Last breath, please. should be done. That's why you bring a handgun with you when you're bow hunting. He could have laid out here for hours like that. Let's go back and look at that arrow again. That arrow, like I say, it went all the way through him. And you can really see that sucker's got blood. All the way up it. The flesh 
scratches about and there's the blood on the ground right there from where he fell and then he went back under there and that's him right there and he is no longer breathing so thank you lord i think that's just reflexes there because he hasn't taken a breath in a while but he's done and i'm happy